there's two pieces of glass with a plate layer of plastic in between. And that's because if we have a hurricane and there's like two by fours flying through the air, we want to be able to stop that thing. I think all these are great. I think you can take a piece of one of these ideas and actually prototype it. You know what I'm saying? Like having to eat without limbs is very broad. So maybe, maybe you can come up with a way to attach a knife to somebody's shoulder or, or, or forearm, right? So they can then cut. The question I have for you guys is how much water do you think we could put in here? Eskew Dumas Ripple is partnering with the STEM Fellows to take them through a course on architecture and design. The goal of that course is to introduce the STEM Fellows to these architectural and design concepts to get them thinking and interested and hopefully really engaged in the ideas and hopefully you know that they're noticing all the design that is around them every day. Assistive technology, it's really anything that helps somebody live their life a little easier. You'll notice some of the devices are from this. These are um, assistive writing devices that help people with, who might have arthritis or um, trouble holding a pen and using the fine manipulation. The partnership between STEM NOLA and SQ Dumas and Ripple Architecture Firm has been great. They've been able to set up a three weekend short course and design it in a way where students get to engage with the experts, engage with architects and designers. They get to experiment with the technology and they get a chance to think just like architects do. So now when they walk into a space, what they're able to do is not only look at the aesthetics and how a building is built, but think about how does that space make people feel and what are the parts of that space that allow anyone with any ability to access. Everything you see and everything around you is architecture and interior designing. And it's amazing how you see buildings and you be like, and you like, wow, like people really thought about this, put ideas together, work together, and put together a beautiful building that actually impacts you in the workplace. Being a STEM fellow, I actually feel, actually feel like I'm a part of something. Uh, I'm, a, I'm surrounded by people with the same mindset and the same interest as me. I feel, I feel really comfortable because I'm able to share my ideas, my voice isn't silenced, and I'm also able to ask questions. It actually helps out because I'm, I'm a very curious person. You learned about some of these sun control structures in your last class, the louvers and fins and stuff like that. I remember when you play with the cardboard ones. It's basically the same exact strategy here. We're gonna go in the secondary entrance now. So for the STEM NOLA Fellows short course program, what we really wanted to teach was design thinking. Not necessarily one kind of architecture or one kind of design or interior design, really a holistic approach that our whole world is designed and that they have an active part to play in that. Whether that be in a traditional role as an architect or something new that hasn't even been created yet. We're trying to give the STEM NOLA Fellows the tools to not only understand that you know all of these things that are designed are actually designed by people, but also the tools to then go ahead and do that design work themselves and have an awareness of the world around them. Roller. Yeah, grab whatever y'all want, whatever you want. You want to make something out of clay, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, they're all coming up with ideas in small groups that they'll then create prototypes with in the next phase. So far they've had lectures on adaptive design and architecture and design thinking. Now they're really putting these skills to work in a really collaborative way to come up with new ideas to help uh, their community and, and themselves ultimately. So our problem was we were thinking about how blind people actually enjoy sports because they can't see them. So we made a tactile board um, where they can feel what's going on on the, on the court or the field. So here are players and each team has a different shape so they'll be able to feel between the, the difference between the teams. And the ball is obviously shaped like a ball so that they know where the ball is. And if, once, if a player has a ball, the ball will stick to that player and they'll be able to feel that. And the, line, the court lines are made with different textures so that they can differentiate um, where they are on the court and what lines they're shooting from and everything. 
By completing this course, STEM fellows are able to think about the world in a more empathetic way. They're able to look at tasks that are very everyday to them and very easy, but now they think about how their family and friends who have different abilities might engage or access some of those same activities.